Thanks, Darren. Well, for more than a month now, health care workers in the area have been working to maintain the same level of care in the Chippewa Valley as there are now only two emergency departments. As WEU's Kim Leadholm tells us, care is still being provided in the region with some adjustments. We have to work together so they can get us back out on the road. First responders and health care staff are pulling together in the wake of hospital closures in the Chippewa Valley. Turnaround times have honestly stayed about the same. Hospitals have been doing a great job of getting us in and out uh, as ambulances. Uh, as far as our, our wait time is minimal. Jason Tome works with Chippewa Falls Fire and Emergency Services. He says transport times have gone up, but that was expected with emergency departments based in Eau Claire. They get us in, triage the patients, and get the ambulances back out the door and, and you know, back to the communities. EMS staff aren't the ones seeing the direct impact. Tom and John Schultz with Eau Claire Fire Rescue say it's the emergency rooms that are hit the hardest. We need another hospital. We really do. Um, we're just too big. There's too many patients in the area. Schultz says before the hospital closures, they had around 200 to 250 transports to Mayo Clinic in Eau Claire and around 75 to 100 to Marshall Medical Center Eau Claire. But last month, Mayo had over 400 transports from us. Marshfield had a little over 150 transports from us. We reached out to Mayo and Marshfield to talk about their emergency departments in Eau Claire. They weren't available for an interview, but Mayo sent a statement saying there are more people seeking care, adding, we have optimized our space, increased staffing, introduced virtual care options, and streamlined processes so we can safely care for more patients. In the meantime, first responders say they will continue to provide care to anyone who needs it. You know, we're all working together, and, and we have to to get through this. In the Chippewa Valley, Kim Leadholm, WEAU 13 News. Thank you so much, Kim. Tome and Schultz say there have not been situations where they cannot keep up with the call volume, but if that does happen, there is mutual aid with neighboring departments they could call if needed.